Hi everybody, Drea here, and today I have with me Vijay. Now Vijay did something pretty amazing. He completed Yusuko Silver in nine weeks, and recently got a perfect score in the 2020 December Silver Contest. Um, and completed again is defined by taking a practice contest of the most recent year and getting a score high enough to advance. So yeah, congratulations Vijay, and thank you for taking the time to be here. Thank you. Cool, so I guess the first thing is when did you get started with Yusuko? Um, I got started with Yusuko last year, so that was halfway through my freshman year. Okay, and I guess what, what drew you into Yusuko? Um, well, my dad's friend had recommended it to him um, as some place for, uh, for, for basically the competition and programming. Um, I'd been programming for a while before that, uh, but I mostly made apps, and uh, I, I didn't really get into algorithms and those sort of things with um, the apps that I made. So I found use of code to be an interesting departure from that in the sense that I learned a lot more things and um, yeah, it was fun in that way and different. All right, cool. So hey, you start with use of code in halfway through your freshman year, I guess, then when do you, when do you advance from bronze to silver? Uh, sure. So I advanced from bronze to silver in the Feb 2020 contest. Nice. And then how did you do on the U.S. Open in silver? Oh, uh, I think it's like 169 or something. Uh, that was my score. Oh, I see. Okay. And then I guess w w what were you kind of doing to practice for silver then? Um. So at that point, uh, what I was trying to practice, uh, what I was trying to do to practice for silver was to go through the regular training pages. Um, however, there were a lot of points at which I was just stuck and I couldn't, I couldn't move on from that problem. So I had to look up solutions. Um, and I think that really hurt me because uh, around June, July of this year, 2020, um, I, I started to do like real practice contests from like 2015 and 2016. I started to take a look at those problems and try and solve them. And I realized that I couldn't really do very many of them. Um, and so... I, I became slightly concerned and started looking for a uh, coaching to see if there was a more streamlined way and a more focused way that I could learn what I needed to learn. And also to make sure that I wasn't uh, scattering my focus around various things and that I was, uh, I was making the most of my time. Yeah. I guess 2015, 2016 is even like older silver too, not even newer silver. Um, I think that was the first contest where they switched over. Oh yeah. I, I didn't mean like, uh, like the older the division type things. I just meant like not new-ish problems. Uh, mm -hmm. I think the contests get significantly harder every year. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I guess you sort of alluded to looking for someone to coach next. Mm -hmm. I guess, where did you find me from? Um, Reddit and Core. I see. And then why did you why did you schedule a call with me? Um, well, what really drew me at first was on your page, if you scroll down, um, it says the timeline is one to three months for bronze, silver, and gold, and five to six months for platinum. Um, and so I thought that that was a timeline that would work well for me, um, especially since uh, I wanted to be able to like start doing platinum contests and try to get into camp by uh, during my junior year and by the end of it have achieved some uh, something really significant. And another thing was that um, uh, I knew that this year would kind of be a bit busy for me. I know I knew that my school work would pick up a lot. And so I didn't want to really be scattering myself around with several, um, several sort of methods of preparing for use ago, because I did have other extra, I did like have other extra girls. For example, I play the violin and I play tennis and um I wanted to be able to make sure that I was doing the right thing in each of them. That's cool. Yeah, I actually don't like tennis, but I play badminton, uh, which is interesting. Yeah, anyway, so I guess you saw a timeline of one to three months, and you'd probably been studying for more than three months at Silver at that point? Mm -hmm, yeah, and I wasn't getting very far. Okay, did you did you believe the timeline of one to three months? Um. Well, there were lots of uh, mentions on the page, and I had read other posts where you had been recommended. Um, that was one thing that uh, made it seem that I was uh, plausible. Another thing was your achievement yourself by getting into camp and the fact that you're going to MIT, which adds a lot more credibility to uh, 
the timeline that you provided. Okay. So I guess, yeah, so we make a call, we, we chat. I guess, why did you choose to start working with me? Um, sure. Uh, I thought that it was a lot more systematic than what I was doing. Um, I think that with a lot of the, with a lot of the um, things that I do, I like a very structured, uh, structured cu curriculum that I can work my way through. Um, and I start to falter wh where there, uh, where I have to um, make my own decisions. And sometimes when I make my own decisions with what sort of learning methods I'm going to be doing and things like that, uh, I, I go down like rabbit holes that I really shouldn't be going down. With the contest, I, I think I signed up in around September with the contest being like three months away. I wanted to make sure that I had everything I needed to be able to go in guns blazing. Yeah, that was, that was perfect timing. I think at about 11 weeks into the program, you took the December contest and got a perfect score. So mm -hmm. yeah, that was great. Okay, cool. So yeah, you signed up. Once we got started, uh, I guess, when did you start seeing some sort of improvement? After how um, long? Around, I'd say at around week five, uh, week six. At, at first, it was building up and I could do the problems, which was really, really cool for me. I was able to actually do silver problems. Um, but in week five and week six, I did my own little practice contest uh, independent of the regular curriculum. And I, and I saw like a, a large improvement from what I've been doing before. And so with, with that, I felt a lot more confident moving forward. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know you did a, your own practice contest. That's, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, that's actually the same one as the one that was in week 11. Oh, I see. Cool. Awesome. So, yeah, I guess after you did your practice contest, when you started seeing improvement, I also noticed that a little, I guess that makes sense. Okay. At about that time, did you pick up in the amount? of time you were spending to go i feel like i noticed that a little bit yes i did spend a lot more time cool why um i think it was because i the tennis season had ended and uh i'd also there was this major audition for violin and so that had ended so i had a lot more time to spare for you um but it was also that uh i felt confident going forward and i i felt that i, I, I was going to be able to make it in december that's awesome. Um, cool. So I guess, yeah, we go through that. And then uh, we take our first practice contest, I believe in week eight-ish. Um, for you, I guess, it was in week five or six. Uh, and yeah, so you know, the first one, like we're, we're learning contest strategy then, right? Um, when you first heard the idea that like, if you learn contest strategy, your score could drastically improve. What did you, what did you think of that? Well, it's you pretty believe it's pretty reasonable. Um, I mean, yeah, there, if I were to be like spending a lot of time on one problem that just wasn't working for me, I mean, that sounds like something that I could, I could do. I'd feel like I was almost there. Um, but that also does seem like a large waste of time. And I think having those, uh, 30 minutes for thinking 30 minutes for doing for each problem, uh, was a great way for me to know the times that I need to do without having to do a bunch of contests on my own. And it still took a few iterations after we uh, had the general idea of contest strategy. So yeah, I guess, what did you learn through those iterations about how you can improve your contest strategy and your score? Sure. I think one thing that I realized is that everything usually comes together at the end. And that was something that was true even in the December contest. Um, yeah, there, there, were, there were quite a few contests where I wasn't, able to, I wasn't able to solve the problems at first. I was unable to make the observations. But after I returned to them, maybe an hour or two later, I was able to get them a lot more quickly. Uh, and yeah, that, that, that applied a lot during the December contest. I only got the, qual the cutoff was 800 and I only got the qualifying score in the last 10 minutes. Yeah, I, I keep telling people that, hey, if you skip a problem and you come back to it later, you'll get the observations faster. You'll be able to debug faster. People don't tend to believe me at first, but then they do it once and then they're like, oh. Cool. So I guess in terms of working on problems and problem solving skills, what did you, what what helped you out there in terms of like solving, being able to solve solar problems? Um. Well, one thing was the cheat sheets that helped me a lot. Um. I was able to make sure that I was doing everything correctly. And I also had uh, a bunch of different algorithms that I could swipe through 
if I if I need to uh, find something that was appropriate. For example, if there was an if there was something that the constraint the constraints that they had made such that I could only run an n log n, I could just take a look through all the n log n pro, uh, n log n um, cheat sheets to see if uh, any one of those could fit for a problem and things like that. That's great. Cool. But I guess that's good in terms of fitting algorithms, but there's always a few questions that come up that don't necessarily fall into an algorithm. Um, mm -hmm. So it helps you most with those problems. Or even like oh. problems that do fall into an algorithm, there's first a step where you need to simplify it to something else. Yeah, there was one like that in the contest too. Um, there was this one thing that had a bunch of, that was like related to points in, in uh, coordinate graphs, but it actually was a prefix sum, pro a prefix sum problem in the end. <laughs> Um, but uh, one of the things that really helped was drawing out a bunch of test cases. And I think that's one of the uh, problem solving strategies that's mentioned. And that is something that I didn't really do before. I, I tried to think about things in a very abstract manner. And so uh, I think I had, a, I had a more specific course of action that I could take for um, each problem. All right, cool. That's awesome. Um, yeah, well, is there... Congratulations again on getting the perfect score. Is there anything else you have to share with anyone who is, say, you know, bronze, silver, trying to work up to gold? Um, no, I think, yeah, I think uh, just hang on till the end. Awesome. So you're, you're a sophomore now, right? Yes, I am. So you're shooting for platinum this year and then maybe camp next year? Uh, yes, that's my goal. Cool. Well, yeah, I totally <laughs> believe you can you can do that. Um, Thank you. Good luck to you there. And yeah, I will, you said you were working on some sort of app? Uh, yeah, that, that app is still in development and I will post that when it comes out and it will probably be in the description once it comes out. Cool. So viewers can check the description and at some point in time in the future, it will be there. No specified date. Um, yes. All right, Ujay, thank you for taking the time to be here and have a great day. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye.